Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and filmmaker. Today I'm going to tell you what the top nine accessories are for the DJI Osmo Pocket for iPhone users. These are all the accessories that you're going to want to use to get the most out of your Osmo Pocket. If you wouldn't mind, just scroll to the bottom and leave me a comment as you're going along and watching this video and let me know if there's some other thing that I'd like to cover or get some aspect. I would love to read your comments and see what your kind of feedback is. The DJI Osmo Pocket, this is one of the coolest cameras to come on the market. I wouldn't say ever, but I mean, it's, it's a real game changer and gives you lots of different capabilities. I've already done a general overview of this camera. Check out the link below. I'll, uh, put the link right there so you can go check out their review but this Osmo Pocket has a gimbal head that has really really capable and it's definitely changed my filming if I were just going to go walk straight and do a few things I might actually use the GoPro black but this is a super capable camera because it can do panning time lapse with multiple point access it's totally incredible However, as an iPhone user, you're going to want a couple of these accessories to better make better filming and do everything way better with this camera. But before I get into that, if you wouldn't mind for a moment, just clicking that subscribe button that would help me get along on my channel. Thank you very much for clicking subscribe. So let's get right into it. The DJI Osmo Pocket is an incredible camera, but you need a couple things to make this happen because really the form factor is awkward all right let's just get past that right now it is awesome for hand holding it has this tiny little head that sticks out and it does the wobble thing and twist and everything but how do you mount it how do you charge it how do you make this camera do what you would want it to do okay so i'm just going to go down the list of different things that i have found totally useful number one is this wireless charging base let me hook this up it's a little strange here this wireless charging base i would say is an absolute necessity because it allows you to connect your phone to the osmo pocket without a cable now the whole theory about this whole wireless thing is a big deal uh, the one drawback is that the usb-c port is only power not data which i find silly but there you are so well, as soon as you get this little base station it's also allows you to actually stand the osmo pocket a little more safely the actual round edges you stand this thing it's wobbly you're going to drop your expensive 4k 60 camera pretty quick so this little base station allows you to hook up to your dji osmo app and do all the controls remotely so you can let the camera sit there and do its thing this is pretty slick but of course you don't have a quarter 20 mount in the bottom good grief so and yeah here we go it's one of those yeah it's the coolest camera ever but you gotta add all this junk yes yeah, so the i think it's a bipolar pro they have a mount that hooks to the wireless pod and you slide this thing in here check it out there we go and now you can still access the power port to charge your Osmo Pocket, but it now has a quarter 20, and the base is substantially bigger than just the wireless port because it's, it's got this nice rubberized finish and everything, and it's pretty good. Uh, one thing I don't like about the Polar Pro, it does have the front port for, or the back port for power, but it doesn't have a front port to let you know where is it that the little Wi-Fi LED is actually hooked on so I'm going to have to drill through this uh, that way I can see that LED when I jam my pocket in there so these two accessories are pretty sweet also if you have Arca Swiss mounts for your camera gear the Polar Pro people I wouldn't even have thought of this they've actually made the channel grooves so you can actually hook this up to a Arca Swiss style plate now you've got this whole total thing that allows you to be wireless and just proof in point I was in Salt Lake City Airport just a short time ago I set this on an old 
uh, well, uh, phone booth so I could do some time lapse of the footage in the airport. And this allowed me, the setup allowed me to use my phone, completely watch it without actually looking at the Osmo or touching it and doing time lapse. So this setup is pretty darn sweet and it allows you to hook up, let me show you here, this quarter 20 to a tripod plate, screw that sucker on and you are in business. Now, if you want to do something a little bit different, and connect this to one of your gazillion GoPro rigs you probably own. This little mount is pretty cool. Let's see if I can figure out how to open it again. Oh yeah. Now, the drawback with this particular mount is that the mounting face, you have to take off the little holder there that protects the uh, iPhone adapter. But once you hook this in and you close it up here, latch it closed, you can now hook this up to any GoPro type equipment. Now, that said, this is again an awkward design, but I do see some pretty slick capability with this mount, is because if you do the chest mount, the screen's facing away from you. You have no idea where you're looking. And as far as the selfie stick setup goes, Ah, it, it's not the best. It, there's definitely some awkwardness in this design and that's just kind of the way it works. So it, it does give you the ability to use GoPro mounts. You can use it in a flashlight mode. That is a viable alternative. It allows for access to the controls. That's pretty slick. So this GoPro style mount does give you some versatility. I would say it's probably the least used of the items that I have for my Osmo Pocket, but thus far, it has me allowed me to mount to my GoPro and then I could stick it on wherever and do all sorts of cool stuff where I'll shut the pocket off and it'll turn. But I can actually put this into flashlight mode, turn it around and still rotate and do its thing. So that is pretty handy if you're heavily investing in GoPro gear. Now the next thing, hopefully I don't drop this thing, is the other style tripod mount from Polar Pro. Now I'm, I'm not supported or sponsored by DJI or Osmo or Polar Pro or anybody. But if you look at this mount, one of the problems with the, the tripod mount I was just showing you, where is it? Oh, it's right here. Is when you hook this up, it is wobbly because it is very tall. So if it's really windy, even on a tripod, this mount isn't ultra ultra secure so if you need to do something in a higher vibration or wind environment this polar pro mount is actually really slick you'll see the lock back there boom yes now it has a quarter 20 mount here very handy but you lose your wireless capability so that is a trade but they do have a quarter 20 mount on the side so you can actually mount your pocket like this, rotate it so we can do pan ups and downs of a time lapse. So if you're in a very windy or shaky environment where you might have to be worried about this unit being mounted standing up, instead, let me put this plate back in, always important, don't lose this, the ability to mount on the side and really cut the vibration profile is huge on this unit. So this Polar Pro, it's come in handy. I was doing some time lapse on the beach and it was blowing around and this was all wiggling around. I'm like, oh gosh. So this mount has come in very, very handy. The next key thing you're going to want is the official Apple Lightning to USB-C connector. Because let's say you don't have the wireless pod or anything or you're using, uh, let's say, so Let's say you can't use the wireless pod for whatever reason and maybe you have to use the Polar Pro sort of mount. Once the Polar Pro mount is in here, it still has the port where you can hook this up to the USB-C port to there and also it comes over to the lightning connector to your phone. So even though you don't have wireless capability at the moment, you can actually click this into your phone and now you can, granted though it's wired, you're not actually mounting the pocket to the phone because that's one of the things that the Osmo Pocket really sells is, oh, the ability to 
hook up to your phone on the side. I don't like that at all, simply because you have to mount the pocket to the side of your phone. It's very annoying, it's, it, it's huge, but also, if you have a phone case at all, this little, uh, let's see, where the heck are this silly adapters? Yeah, when you when we slide out the adapter there, great, I lost them. Yeah, that's around here somewhere. Oh yeah, here it is. Uh, these adapters don't fit on, uh, sorry, on iPhone cases at all. So you have to take your freaking phone out of the iPhone case in order to mount up their setup. That's really irritating. So that I don't like. So I won't lose these things, but the... Ew. So as you can see, the original design of how this comes hooked up, you don't want that. So the lightning to... Come on. The lightning to USB-C adapter cable is key. That way you can hook up your pocket to your iPhone and have all the capabilities you want. So this is definitely a key accessory and because that brings in the next accessory when you're running this thing at 4k 60 it gets hot and it sucks a lot of battery power you're going to need a battery and maybe more than one one of these little uh, P and Y little batteries work totally well and you can hook up the cable that the Osmo pocket comes with you can hook this up to the bottom and hook it up to the battery, fire it up, and your Osmo Pocket will start charging no problem. So as you're filming along, you'll see that I actually got a, quite a few uh, film takes out of 4K60, probably an hour, hour and a half. I mean, a lot of filming in Salt Lake Airport, but eventually the Pocket started pooping out on me because there isn't a user replaceable battery. So. How do you juice this thing in the field when, hey, I'm gonna be filming, but man, I'm gonna run out of power, what do I do? These little portable batteries using the cable that the Osmo Pocket is huge. That will take you really, really far and basically extend the capabilities of this Pocket, I would say, not all day, but you can almost continuously just chunk through these suckers and crank it out. So that's pretty handy. Now. If you like to do pan and tilt action where you have a head where you can pan and tilt and control, this little adapter jobby is really, really slick. So this is the next accessory you're going to want to have because it slides on just like this and it has up down control or left right control. It also has the, the head switch mode and I can't remember what the other button does. Uh, this allows you to use the Osmo Pocket to begin filming and control pan or tilt without having to touch the screen on the device. Let's see. So this button is flip and then this one is, oh, the, the follow mode, you know, face tilt lock or, or whatever. I don't find this button particularly useful, but the ability for me to tilt the head up and lower it down or let's see, we'll tilt it up. I wish they had a multi jo joystick, but nobody ever, no one ever really does diagonal pan. So this head being able to pan from left to right, and it's, if you pull down a little bit, it goes slow. If you pull down a lot, it goes fast. So I can do a very slow motion pan across my scene in real time. Now, I do have to mount this uh, pretty well. I have to be careful about that. The, the DJI mount does not allow for this controller, but the DJI mount with the Polar Pro does allow for the controller, so I can actually jam this in there. In fact, I'll do this for you. I'll show you how this all works together. So we're gonna drop this into the tripod mount and then we're going to slide the controller in and now I can put the camera in flashlight mode and I can tilt it up a little bit and now I can pan right and left with this controller using the quarter 20 mount. Now I wish they had the quarter 20 mount on the back instead it's on the side Eh, it's not perfect. I, I, being the first generation of DJI device, 
it, it, it's going to be a ways in coming, but the ability to do this is huge. So this little combo here allows you to do a shallower quarter 20 mount on your tripod, pan back and forth. It's really, really slick. So this little controller, if you want to do live panning action where you don't have a crazy fluid head tripod, this actually does really, really well. Now, in that combo, you're going to want a little mini tripod. I'll put a link below. You can get whatever the heck you want. But this allows you to mount up your Osmo Pocket to some sort of tripod. And the, the mini tripod they sell with it is ridiculously expensive. Don't waste your money. Get a little Ultra Pod. I have an Eddie Bauer one. You can screw it on there. Now, no, once you screw this all together, it's pretty freaking tall. So that's the nice part about the side mount on the Polar Pro, is you can actually control the height of how high this mounts. And the final thing you're going to want for your DJI Osmo Pocket are the ND filters and or the polarizers. If you don't know what to get, I'd recommend starting with the polarizers or the, the filters that this originally comes with, or is the DJI branded one. Uh, one of the challenges of using the circular polarizer is that as you move around, the polarization angle changes, so you can get some really weird effects. So if you're a starting off filmmaker and you gotta be careful with these, I would definitely just start with the ND filters. Now I'm gonna try and get one out without dropping it. And one of the things is these are really small, so it, everything on this unit is so small that you have to be careful with it, okay? Now the DJI face isn't protected at all. You can buy a protection thing, but eh. But this ND filter snaps on magnetically. And now this is an ND, was this ND16? Because one of the things about filming is you want to film at the shutter speed is double the frame rate. So if you're shooting at 30 frames a second, you're going to need to shoot at 1 60th of a second to get natural blur. If you want that real hard staccato action, forget the ND filters, but if you want some nice blur that looks normal, blur is actually a good looking thing in film, and especially on t uh, 24 frames a second, I know it's a thing, but these ND filters on here are really good and necessary for you to have. Now, the one that I'm going to put a link to they only go up to 16 um, in the stop, and it doesn't look like, well actually no, you can snap these together. So you can put an ND4, an ND8 or something to get as much darkness out of you want. Now the problem is that once you put these filters on here, they're really heavy on the head. Let's see how it handles it. There we go. So now the head can move around. It's pretty stable. So it's not too bad. I'm not going to take off the filter here, but I can, I can still use the control. Let's see if I can get the control there to tilt up and tilt down. Pretty cool. So these ND filters, if you really want to make a better control of your film, if you're just doing vlogging and everything, it doesn't matter. But if you actually want to do some higher quality material, you're going to have to get these ND filters in order to get your shutter speed at double your frame rate. Look it up, there, there's a whole thing about it. Check it out on YouTube. I'm not gonna go into that simply because that's a whole other video. So these are the nine accessories you're going to need to get the most out of your DJI Osmo Pocket. I know it sounds pretty crazy, nine accessories? Yeah, this by itself is really, really incredible. But to expand everything to what you need, the, the tripod mounts, the wireless pod, the pod mount for that, the cable for your iPhone. This is all about iPhone here. Getting some sort of tripod mount so you can mount this to a different stand. Uh, getting the batteries, that's a huge thing there. The Polar Pro mount to change your capabilities of how you mount this on the tripod. Again, the little controller so you can do panning and tilting to make a professional look and these ND filters, all these different accessories will really up your game with your new Osmo Pocket.
It does take some time to learn, but I can't recommend it enough. I hope you've found this film very helpful and gives you a lot of information on what you'll need to really expand your capabilities once you get this pocket. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and filmmaker. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the subscriptions and everybody following me. Also, please support me on Vidmo, PayPal, and Patreon. Thank you very much for watching.